WTFNN. Headline News Update. Chapman for this TFNN noon update. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up straight after this update and the author of the opening call daily newsletter. We're looking at the uh, Dow down 25 at 26,511. I think the S&P and the Dow would be much, much higher if, if Boeing down nine points wasn't really the culprit here. But this is what we've got, and that means it's an even longer delay before it'll be next week, before we can get to the 26,908 level to start leg C in the daily chart. Certainly the 26,004, uh, I'd put it at the 440 area should hold. Otherwise, you're probably going to test the 14-period moving average. Meantime, the technicals are still pretty good, and the S&P at this moment is, in fact, up 8 at 2921. Holding the nine period moving average, the MACD is good. Stochastics pull back to 71% in the daily chart. But I think that here as well, there should be a leg C starting um, probably Monday or Tuesday going into next week to the upside. 29.14 to 29.07 is absolutely key support to hold. The QQQ NDX 100 is trading up 46 cents at 186.25. Here as well, it needs to get to the 190 area to start leg D. The weekly chart, unlike the S&P and the Dow, has not gone to a new leg D. This is still underneath the 191.32 high of April. So we're watching this one closely, and IWM has really been the laggard on the day. Once again, it has one of these days where on a percentage basis it's better than the others. It's up 1.53, 1 152.34, 1 up 1%. Uh, but still, it's not a good-looking chart. Made that peak, Dean and Chapman, wave just as it did at 161.11. Uh, and uh, back in, in uh, early May, late April. And I, this is something to watch because it needs to get to the 153.60 area and pretty soon. If you look at gold, gold's taking a breather after, again, a second session after having uh, hit the high just three days ago. It's now at 14.09, down six. And if you look at the dollar, the dollar's really not moving very much to the upside. It is, in fact, it's down two ticks at 96.21. So it's really gold that's leading the way out of the, you know, looking at it as part of a currency and metals uh, uh, kind of a duo that's working in counterpoint. I'll be right back, talk more about it in my show, The Tiger Technicians Hour. Uh, stay tuned to TFN and all day. You've got me, you've got Steve, Dave, and Tom. I'll be back in a few minutes' time. Otherwise, see you tomorrow.